everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're going to be checking out my newly refreshed Golemancer. This has been tested for 1.0 and we are already pushing 300 corruption. It's feeling stronger, it's feeling tankier and a lot of people are request requesting this refresh. So what I'm going to do is actually go through the build planner on last epoch tools. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you gameplay. I am currently live on Twitch, pushing 70 hours on our subathon. And I just want to start by saying thank you to everybody that has come by the stream, that's come by Discord, that's gone to YouTube and sub subscribed. The support has been overwhelming, and I truly mean it when I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through this build planner. We're going to start with skills, then we'll go to passives, and I will show you the gear. Now, this is very similar to the old Golem Mancer, but it is tweaked a little bit, and you will notice the refreshes. I can tell you it's going to play a whole lot better than its older version. So let's start off with the skills. Now on here, we are using the exact same skills. And again, we're just tweaking the skill trees a little bit. So when you're looking at summon a skeleton or skeleton mage, it is the exact same. We literally made no changes. We still go into death knights because this is a melee physical necrotic build. We still come down and take extra and go into crit multiplier and crit strike. And we are still using skeleton mage as our traversal skill. So it brings the army with you. When you switch over to zombie, again, we did tweak this a little bit. We have gone to the left now and taken grave attunement to give us a better damage multiplicative. And we are a little slower. I moved out of daunting blast, so we don't have as much stun chance, but I'd rather take the multiplicative damage. And then to the right, we went into fervor, which is going to give us back some of that movement speed. You don't really care about your zombies being close because you're summoning them and they're just running up and exploding while they're barfing and then exploding. So it's not a big deal. So just a small little tweak again. And of course, this is in necrotic version. When it comes to golem, we did move some points around here. Now, golem did get a buff to its spell multiplicative damage. So what I did is I moved the points out of AOP and I pulled one out of AOR and unnatural speed. And those five points are now over here into mages, which is going to give us a 60% multiplicative to our damage. So your golems are actually going to hit a whole lot harder with the newly enhanced golem mancer. Moving over to dread shade, we have also tweaked this skill a little bit. And what we have done that you will notice immediately is we are now blinding. We are blinding our minions. Now, normally when you blind your minions, it sucks because when they're shooting, they can't hit a target. But since we are hitting melee, they never miss. So you are literally going to be getting a 40% boost to your minions attack speed for free. Blind your minions. Last but not least, over to Wraiths, almost the exact same tree. We just kind of moved the points around a little bit so that we can get the last two nodes, just making sure you could see it, on Crit Multiplier and Crit Strength. These are still permanent Wraiths. So those are the skills. Moving over to the passive tree, you will notice the biggest differences. We initially had 22 points into the base tree. I just snagged one out of Stolen Vitality. We don't need it. Nothing still in Lich. In Warlock, we have our brand new node, and this is Chaos Flames. Now, what makes this node so special is it's going to apply to your minions, and this is going to allow every single minion you have to apply damned to enemies, which we did not have before. It's actually going to it's actually going to ignite enemies and apply damned to enemies. This is a monster boost to your overall damage because you got to remember you're putting three or four hundred stacks of armor shred on enemies and now you're going to be putting hundreds of stacks of damned as well very big node eight points take every point you could get moving over to necromancer we have changed over some things as well so in here we pulled points out of mortal tether you don't need the life we have also put eight points into unearthed arms i feel I can't believe we weren't taking this node before. It's it's my fault. You live, you learn. And on here, all of our minions do minion uh, melee physical. So you're going to get a big boost to your damage from here. And then we pulled a couple points out of Rite of the Undeath. 
we don't need this damage. You're going to do way more with unearthed arms and with chaos flames. So we just shifted some of the points around. For the most part, it's the same, but again, it is enhanced and it's going to feel a whole lot better to play. Now, moving over to the gear, starting with the blessings. Necromancer and Acolyte in general is hard to keep alive, but Necromancer specifically. Why? Because you are not casting. If you are not casting, you cannot generate ward. You also can't rip life, right? There's no way for you to leech because you aren't doing any damage. So you really have to lean into endurance, endurance threshold, crit avoidance, life and resistances. So right now with the current spec out, I have 4,700 life. Why do I have so much life? It is because of our idols. Every single idol is a life idol with the exception of one idol needs chance to mark for death on minion hit, which you can see right here. For our blessings, Void Resistance, Mana, Crit Avoidance, Endurance, and Physical Resistance. And you can honestly take Resistance if you need it here as well. It is nice having the little buffer to your mana. Now, I've also switched out a couple of items. Again, when it comes to survivability, we are no longer using Death Rattle. So looking at the gear, we are now using an Oracle Amulet, which can roll as high as 20%, and that's less damage taken over time. Damage is not a problem. If you can stay alive, you will just roll enemies. You got to think in your head, damage is going to be great. How do I keep myself alive? That is what you are trying to solve with this build. All right. Helmet, we've just updated the base. Aaron's will, my item has stayed the same. Mandate, the affix is updated, but you just want minion melee base. Minion melee base. You could also get physical penetration as well. In order to make three golems, you do need two hollow fingers. I've switched up the affix to include intelligence on both. We have updated the base on our belt to give us poison and cold resistance. Boots are the same. We just switched out Vitality for Intelligence. Our Relic is practically the same. And our Gloves in the live version right now, I am using Raven's Rise, but a good rolled Exalted pair of Gloves, in my opinion, is better. But if you do have Raven's Rise, it's totally fine. It's still an absolutely amazing item, so you can still use that. But I do think survivability, getting crit avoidance and getting hybrid health or even double health is going to be better for survivability. So that is the gear. You saw the skills, you saw the passives, you saw the idols, blessings and gear. This is the refreshed Golem Mancer. I promise you, if you can get anywhere close to this gear and spec into this specialization, you are going to notice a huge difference. So that's the video. Build planner and loot filter, I promise, will be coming. I'm normally kind of a, I don't know, 12 to 14 hours behind. It is difficult doing all this while being live, but it's been an absolutely amazing experience. Come by the stream. It is the first link in the description. And if you have any questions about Last Epoch, any questions about any of the builds or anything happening with 1.0, hit me up in Discord or hit me up in the stream. I am available. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out. <laughs>